Hey guys, my name's Noah. Welcome to my channel if you are new here today. If you've been here before, then you've probably already seen my Trader Joe's plant hauls. I've done a ton of them in the past. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys updates on those plants. A lot of you guys have been requesting this, so I'm finally doing it. Only a few of them have not done well, and I'll share with you guys those but a bunch of them have been thriving and I'm really excited for this, but I have so many and I wasn't expecting to have this many when I was gathering them all for this video. So it will be two parts. It will be, this will be part one and the next video I will link um, will be part two. So sorry about that. It's just so many that there's, it would be an hour long video if I tried to put it into one and I know you guys don't want that, but let's just get right into it. All right, so the first one that I wanna share with you guys is my Hoya Australis. And when I first got it, it was just listed as a Hoya. So I honestly didn't even know what kind it was. And it came on a trellis, um, which I absolutely love. And that's kind of what drew me to it. This plant has actually made me love Hoyas because of how it grows. And I kind of want to get some more, but let me share with you guys. Um, I did DIY the pot a little bit with some Dollar Tree dowels and I didn't have enough to go around. So sorry about that. But yeah, this is the Hoya Australis. Um, the cool thing is all of these long new vines here there's one two three four five and six uh new vines that have come from this plant and since it's on a circular trellis i there's nothing i could really do but let them grow up so what i think i'm gonna do is let the leaves grow on these because they're starting to form and i'm gonna clip them and propagate them and make some new hoya australis babies so yeah, I'm so happy about that. I absolutely love how it grows. It just looks so funky and cool. And this has been a very easy plant, like very easy. I'm talking easy, easy. <laughs> like I don't even know how to explain how easy this plant has been. I have put it in 10 different spots in my home and it's thrived in all of them, low light, high light situations. So I don't know if that's the case with most Hoyas, but this one has been like that. Um, I've definitely had it in places where there's really not much light and it's done fine. So it even was still growing a lot. So love this one for how easy it is and how beautiful it is. And I will finish the pot. I just need to go buy some more dowels at Dollar Tree. All right, so the second one that I wanna talk about is a funny story because Trader Joe's actually listed this plant as a Hartley philodendron and I totally expected it to be that and it kind of looked like it was because it was a baby um, and it grew into a Monstera Deliciosa, which is crazy, but like kind of so exciting. I definitely thought it was gonna be a Hartley philodendron as you could see in the clip before it you really couldn't tell that it was a monstera it's got a ton of new growth this is the newest leaf that's why it's super shiny and like lime green um and i'm pretty excited that it's growing so fast because look how big this is i feel like maybe by the end of spring it could even be like a very large monstera deliciosa because it's been growing so fast and i just love it it's one of my favorite plants recently just to watch grow it doesn't need much work and it's just really really cute and I have another Monster Deliciosa, but honestly, I don't think you could have too many. I would even get a third one, you guys. I know that's bad, but like, I really love this plant. I think it's like the epitome of a house plant. Like it is just what I think of when I think of house plants and it grows very, very fast, which is always exciting. So love this one. All right, so next I'm gonna talk about my lithops that I found at Trader Joe's, which is a crazy find. I wanna say they were like two or $3 at Trader Joe's and they came in these super tiny, like two inch pots or something. And I did repot it because it was growing and I repotted it into two separate pots. And um, as you could tell, let me show you guys a close up. They are having babies like crazy. Um, look at that, it's being born from these ones. And I don't know what happens to these ones once it's born. I, I honestly haven't been paying too much attention about this to this plant. I keep it outside. I really, really love it. And this one's also pregnant and giving birth to some new babies. This has been a really cool find at Trader Joe's. If you see these, honestly, you should get them if you think it's cool like I do. I know some people think it's creepy and gross, but if you do think it's cool like I do, you should definitely pick it up because it's just fun to watch grow. And I would say it grew pretty fast. Like I was not expecting this so soon. I think it's a cool little rare plant that Trader Joe's had for so cheap because if you see it at a nursery, it's $10 for like one stone. <laughs> And Trader Joe's definitely put like two or three in the pot and sold it for like two or three dollars. So I don't know how they do it, but they've got amazing prices. 
So next up, I wanna talk about my Pilea Peppermoides because this one has given me so many babies that I've given away to other people. And this is what it looks like now. And as you could see in the before clip, it was so much shorter and smaller. The stalk has grown so big. And I've noticed that these big leaves fall off to kind of make space for the babies. Normally, I would propagate the babies and take them out, which is what I did the first time it had a bunch of babies. I think I've even propagated this plant twice. I think this is the third time that it's had babies, and right now it has one, two, three, four, five babies. But I'm sure you guys are all aware of Crazy Plant Guy. He has this giant Pilea Peppermoides. I will insert a picture of it. And I, my plan for this one is to look like his. Like, I really want it to look like his. So I'm not going to propagate any, any of the babies. I'm just going to keep up potting it into a larger pot. This, I just repotted actually recently um, because it was drinking so much water that I was having to water it like every day. So I did decide to up pot it and it just looks really, really good. And it's also been a more easy plant. But one thing that I've learned about this plant is it needs a lot of sun. I would even say direct sun is fine. Like this plant I put in my windowsill and it's loved it. So this plant definitely needs a lot of sun and that's pretty much it. The watering it doesn't care about too much. It doesn't have issues. So just give it a lot of sun. All right, but the next plant is this Syngonium. And when I first got it, I thought it was a Caladium because I really didn't know much about house plants. And um, I'm really happy to Syngonium because I've kind of had like a little Syngonium obsession. Like I love them and i have propagated this plant so much so this is not even like a true accurate representation of how big it's gotten i've actually given away a lot of cuttings of this plant and sold a few um, and made other like complete plants from it so if you're not if you don't know i have an etsy plant shop called the plant casa and i do sell a lot of my house plants that i can propagate and it's been a lot of fun for me just because like this is my passion so um, if you don't know, go check out the um, the plant cost on Etsy. Even if you don't buy anything, just like the shop because it'll really help me out. But this is one plant that I've just been able to propagate so, so, so much. Yeah, I really, really love the look of this plant. Super, super full. I may up pot it again in the spring instead of clipping it some more just because I kind of love the look of it being so full and I kind of want it and i know i'll always be able to take cuttings from this so i think i'm gonna up pot this soon and just let it keep growing i've seen other people's syngoniums get like super wide and bushy like it looks like a bush and i love that look so i definitely want one in my home and it's it's gonna be this guy so the last one i'm gonna mention in, in this video is i did buy a large monstera deliciosa from trader joe's so this is that and I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see this whole plant in the frame. Um, this one, I know it's dying. I need to cut that off, but I don't really like to cut them off until it's like completely dead. I have a new leaf coming right here that I can see does have some holes in it because it's coming from this leaf right here, which has a ton of holes. So this plant has been so fun for me to watch grow. I have this right next to my window and it's been doing very, very well. Um, and I can't wait for the little one to get this big. So yeah, I love Monstera Deliciosa, like I said. So yeah, this is my Monstera. Very, very easy, low maintenance plant. All right, so that's the end of part one, just because this is already 15 minutes long of me rambling and I don't want it to be too, too, too long. So I'm going to do a part two. So definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can watch part two because there are some big plants. Let me give you guys a sneak peek. There's some giant plants coming that have just grown so, so, so much from Trader Joe's and I really want to share them with you guys. I know you guys are asking about all these updates. So definitely make sure you stick around for part two, subscribe, like, and comment. And I will see you guys probably in a second if you go watch part two. Love you guys. Bye.